Ready? <laughs> Welcome to Bus Magazine, this time from Herning, Denmark 2023, the biggest show within Boston Trucks. <laughs> Welcome to Denmark and welcome to the biggest transport fair of Scandinavia and the Nordic countries. We are in Herning and this is a small nice city here in Denmark and now let's take you here to Transport 2023. By the way, if you recognize Max Hunt from the intro of this video, please subscribe to our channel because we will soon make a full video of Max Hunt. When we're entering the door to the bus hall, we will first see the Daimler stand. Here we have buses from Mercedes-Benz and from Setra, and the first coach you will see is the Setra Top Class. With the brand new dynamic steering, it looks great from the inside, has the new front, new interior, but most important here on this coach is all the new safety features. And it's actually the 517 version they have here. Normally we are used to see the 516, so it's nice to see the even bigger coach from Setra. Behind me, we also have the Mercedes-Benz Turismo, but beside of that one, we do have a bus we didn't see before, the Enturo Hybrid. It's a shorter bus, and we really can't wait to take this for a test drive to see how the hybrid systems are working on the road. And behind the camera, we also do have the Isitaro. It's for a Danish company called Finbus. I like the colors of this one, and we know it is a great electric bus. Behind me we have Bolas. This is a Spanish bodybuilder and in Norway we have two units already running for our new Hans Busreiser. This is a family owned manufacturer that have a long history on building buses and coaches. So the two buses they have on this uh, bus fair is the Glory and Jewel. The Jewel is the double decker that is behind me. Glory is the top decker with a lot of luggage capacity and we have seen it in Norway in two units for our new Hans and we have seen many of them in Europe. Here we have the stand for Golden Dragon and behind me we actually have a premiere. This is the intercity version of the Golden Dragon Triumph. And this version is actually going to Norway. It's yellow and the logo is from Brakar. So this will go in the southern part of the Norwegian country. Behind me we have Iveco. This is the E-Way and this one is already on the way to Tulsan on the Faroe Island. And the ferry goes from Hilsals on Saturday and 36 hours after that the owner will get his first electric bus delivered from Iveco. And hopefully we can go to Faroe Island and make a video on this beautiful scenic area of this island. Also, another Chinese bus manufacturer is present here in Herning. Behind me, we do have the Yutong T12e, and this is the first fully electric coach in Denmark. In Norway, we have seen quite many already, both from Golden Dragon, but also this kind from Yutong. We have them in Trøndelag, we have them in Oslo, and even now the airport train has some. If the train will have any problems, the buses will take passengers further away with the electric coach. So we do see them quite a lot in Norway, but this is the first one we see in Denmark. Behind me we have the UK built AEC. This bus has been running in UK and also 40 years in Malta before it ended up in Denmark. The owner bought it for like 3-4 years ago and he has it in his collection of buses. When we go to Denmark we are looking around to search for old Dub and Open Road buses because we know there are many still on the road. It looks like in Denmark they use buses for a longer time than we have seen in Norway for the last couple of years. They are maybe 
15 to 20, 25 years old. But now, in the last couple of years, they are more modern and they are replacing the old buses with new buses. In Norway, we already have seen that most of the city buses is electric. In Denmark, they was a little bit slower, but now we can see more and more electric buses is coming to the Danish cities. And one of these electric buses is standing behind me. This is the MN Lion City, that is bus of the year 2023. This is owned by the Danish company Viking Bus, and this is running for the PTA Mid Traffic in Denmark. This fair is a little bit different from what we have seen in, like in uh, Brussels and Passon Traffic in Sweden. As you can see, most of the buses is owned by customers here in Denmark. This is more run by the organization in Denmark called Dansk Passon Transport. They have their own hall where the customer owned buses are standing and have it like a meeting for the organization. Here is the Isuzu Novo City Vault and we were just in Turkey to make another video of the City Vault 12. So you can see that one by clicking on the link above my head. This one is about 8 meters long and it's perfect for smaller and very compact city centers. And now Isuzu are looking forward to coming to the Norwegian market and they just got a Norwegian dealer called Busku. So let's see, maybe we will see these buses also in Norway in the future. Now we have taken you to one of 14 exhibition hall here in Denmark. It's a huge, huge fair and I really like the atmosphere here. It's a lot of people, it's a lot of exhibitors and it's a good environment inside here. So now before we end the video, let's swipe through some of the trucks and equipment that's also here on the fair. Now we are in the most important hall of the whole transport fair. Here is the old timers and the RC trucks are just behind me. So if you don't drive a real truck and a real bus, you can easily find yourself at home here with the RC trucks and buses. Behind me we have the Volvo F10 and we also can see that you have the Bedford, you have the Ford, you have the Scania and you also have Mercedes-Benz trucks and a vehicle. This is paradise for the bus and trucks enthusiasts. One thing I can see here in Denmark that the trucks and buses is more colorful. They are putting more time and money in the painting. And that is something that you can see on the road that is eye-catching, it's beautiful and something I really like. Thank you so much for watching the video here today. And if you like what you see, please click down here. The button is called subscribe and then you will see all the future videos here from Busmagazine in the future. But until then, drive safe. See you next time. Have a great day.